98 miles. I think we can make it there. This is off of work today, guys. Heck yeah, man. It's gonna be a good day for a vlog. We're actually on our way to the Car Pros uh, dealership in Tacoma to go in and pick up my Optima. Because right now, when I'm driving, it's definitely not an Optima. Um, so the Optima has actually been in the shop for about a week, going on almost two weeks now. But um, before that, the car has just been in and out of the shop. It's had this weird check engine light problem that when it blinks, it puts the car into limbo mode, uh, which means I can't drive the car. So I've been stuck um, battling that for the beginning of the whole entire year. This actually started in December, but uh, this happened after I got the engine replaced on the car. So I got the engine completely, um, completely switched out um, as of, I want to say it was maybe like October. Yeah, I want to say it's about October time. Um, and when I got the car back, the car is doing pretty fine. And then like in December, it just wanted to break down on me. So this is the third time that I'm actually taking the car to the dealership to get this check engine light taken care of. Um, the last two times they just replaced the wiring harness and updated the software. This time it was actually a knock sensor, which they weren't going to replace. They were going to make me pay for it. But, um, after talking to corporate and, you know, kind of letting them know that this is something that, you know, I didn't really know about and that you know it's something that should be covered uh they were nice enough to pretty much cover the whole entire um replacement of the knock sensor and they even gave me this really dope loaner i was supposed to have an optima but they swapped out for a forte so i've been driving this thing for like the last week and a half and i gotta say um i've never driven a forte this is my first time ever like driving one for a long period of time and i gotta say i like the 2019s i don't know how the 2018s and below drove and i kind of don't want to know but if anybody's looking for a super cheap, kind of mid-level, mid-level, small, compact car, definitely should look at getting a Forte, man. It's definitely worth the money. Anyways, I'm going to meet my mom down in Fife. I got to put gas in the car, and then we're going to roll over to the car pros dealership. So I will see you guys in a minute. Damn, is that a BMW? Sheesh. Damn, man. Look at the Honda Civic hatch. That shit nice. Makes me want to get a hatchback. I think this is the sport model too that's right beside me. So it's got the center exhaust. Kinda kinda like it. I don't like the fact that he kinda like put a center exhaust in the center of their cars. But um everybody else dig it. And that's pretty cool. Check out the fans. Woo! So we're currently waiting for And of course, this car would come and take the whole entire view off of what I'm really focused on. Damn. I should have took the Forte to get its first wash. It probably wouldn't get washed for a break. Oh, snap. Here she comes right She We are in the presence. Hello, mother. <laughs> Ooh, that's the Optima. Ooh, snap! Hold on, hold on, hold on. Is there anything in there that I need? No. Nah. Nothing that should be in here. All right, guys. Here we are, back in the Optima, back in the in the daily. So let's go ahead and give it a start up. See how it goes. And they ain't put no gas in the car. I'm disappointed. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get this car home and then we're gonna talk later. There it is. Freaking amazing. All right, let's see if I can get in this. So what's going on YouTube? What's going on guys? I was supposed to make this video last night, but um I got really tired, so I just 
came home, worked out at the gym, went to sleep, and now I'm back again. Doing it all over again. It's Wednesday. Um, we just picked up the car yesterday afternoon when I got off of work. So I've been having this weird check engine light situation going on for like the last like few months now and every single time I went to the dealership to get it checked out they always said it was something that needed to be replaced or fixed so the first time the check engine light came on they just said that it was the wiring harness for the car so went back there they gave me a rental they got the wiring harness fixed um, went back picked up the car everything was fine drove it really good for about like a week and a half next thing you know check engine light comes back on again Took it back to the dealership. This time they're saying that the um, software, that they didn't update, that Kia pushed out a new software update for the car um, to be able to turn off the check engine light, you know, be compatible with the wiring harness and everything. So we said, cool. They ran the update, check engine light came off. Everything was pretty spliff. Um, and then just two weeks ago, um, driving the car and the check engine light came on again and they said that this time it was actually the actual sensor the actual knock sensor um they were trying to get us to pay like 600 dollars to get that thing fixed um but we was able to get in contact with corporate we spoke to corporate about it at first they declined us um of kia actually uh paying for the piece to get fixed but um i got in contact with corporate i spoke to them about it and um the lady that i spoke to she said give her a few days she'll try to figure out what's going on Called them back Tuesday of last week. They said that uh, they got approved. So Kia pretty much covered all costs for that piece to get fixed. They covered my loaner that I was using for the last uh, week or so. And now we're back with the car now. Oh my gosh, who did that? Oh, that's my mom. My mom was like, that's my mom. What the hell? What the hell? But so yeah, so they covered the charges. So everything is good. I'm gonna drive this car today, see how it drives. Hopefully we don't have any other mess ups. Hopefully this car doesn't do anything else. Oh goodness, is that a Subi, bro? Dang, that joint is gone. <laughs> but yeah, so all right guys, I'm gonna end the video right here. I should have ended it last night, but you know, things happen. So if you guys like this video, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Um, let me know down in the comment section if you guys are really feeling these videos. I know it's been a minute since I posted a video, so uh, this is just a quick one for you guys. Just let you guys know I'm not dead. I'm still here. There are going to be some cool things coming up. I am getting ready to get started on building this Optima. I know I've said that for like the last like month and a half to two months. I've actually been saying it since last year. And I have a lot of parts from last year that I have not yet put on the car, but it's just been really busy. I've been going back and forth trying to get things done. I got a lot of really cool announcements to make. I uh, probably won't make them right now, but once I get further down the line and I know that everything is okay, you guys will definitely be informed of what's going on and you guys get to follow along with me. So until next time, guys, see you guys in the next one. I'm going to head to work. Laters. Just